Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nerdy Draws. For this episode, I thought I was going to use those blue Sharpies, and I ended up not, because uh, I lost the colors or something. I don't know. I'm a piece of crap. I didn't look before I actually started drawing. But on the bright side, um, I did use some black and white Sharpies, which I haven't done in a really long time, actually, and I think I added a little bit of color. I forget. I'm watching this video as I talk, but, you know, whatever. Um... And I don't really do that. I usually just go straight for coloring, and I, I don't usually do value practice. I don't know if that's what you call it. I'm an amateur. Anyways, um, so for this episode, I'm drawing Lapis Lazuli in black and white. You probably know her. She's from Steven Universe, and I love her. I love her color palette. She's so pretty. And so I just decided to draw her for this episode, especially because I've never done anything fandom related so far these past two uh nerdy draws have just been ocs and i realize people don't always just want to see oc drawings because you know that they, they they're not really out there though i plan for them to be but you know they're not there yet and also i'd like to give a shout out to turquoise tea for being on my butt for literally like two to three weeks to put out a speed paint and i kept letting her down but i will also give it to her um f while i was drawing this i have a lot of cuts in this video just because i was watching heathers while i drew this because she recommended it to me so ha please don't get mad at me <laughs> but anyways um so I, I had to do a lot of cuts in this video just because it was like I kept stopping to watch the play and then at some point like I put the camera too far down so you couldn't even see what I was drawing you know amateur rookie mistakes whatever but um, as far as I remember this one was really fun because I think I drew it like I want to say two weeks ago because I actually recorded the material a while ago and then I've just been so busy with like family coming over and I just haven't had time to do it and that's also kind of an excuse because I'm a lazy piece of crap but other than that, uh, it, uh, this was pretty fun to do. Also, I have a new mic. Um, I'm gonna link in the description to this mic because I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. It cost, I wanna say, like, $13. Oh, look, I'm pausing there again. Did I not cut this out? Huh, I guess not. But I, um, bought it off of Amazon. It was, like, $13, and it was the best thing I've probably ever bought. Um... I don't know how clear this sounds. I'm hoping it sounds really clear because I haven't really tested it. But let me tell you, sound rooms, the best sound, uh, crap, what do you call those things? You know those things, those like squares that you put up that absorb sound? Anyways, that. Yeah, why get those when you can wrap your computer and yourself in a blanket? And this is, I think, where I started going in with the Sharpies because I realized I didn't have my markers. You know, I probably should have checked that. Um, that might have been a good idea before I started drawing. Do other artists plan stuff? I don't actually know, because I feel like I've heard of artists that actually like plan what they're about to draw, and I severely lack that. But I think that'd be a really good idea for me to do. But um, back to this awesome mic. Uh, it's So, it's got this like thing on it. I'm rambling at this point, but I really like this mic. Uh, and I got it, and I didn't think it was going to have anything like attached to it, but it came with all the cords and stuff. Oh my god, I just realized I'm advertising for this product. I hate myself. Anyways, so I think I had, I think in this drawing I had a few anatomy mistakes, but at this point in the drawing I just kind of gave up and just I started going. But I, it's not super noticeable, or at least to me, because I was like doing it. I was drawing it so I didn't really notice until I was done and then I posted the drawing and then I was like wow look at that anatomy failure you know like do you do you ever do that where you like you're drawing and then you come out with the final product and you're like super duper proud of it and then you look at your drawing and then you're like hey look at that anatomy mistake I hate myself time to die because I do a lot it's uh not fun noticing the anatomy mistake at the very end but uh, I, I don't know, it's just, usually, I, I don't know if people actually notice that by the end of the drawing, but I would hope they don't, I would hope they don't notice the little, like, wrong things I did, 
so i don't know if i'm actually gonna point this out i'm gonna let you guys point that out like leave a leave a comment in the description what do you think what do you think i messed up you want to say the entire drawing go for it i did uh plot twist ha huh. and uh this is where i started um ugh, figuring out where the highlights were i think i did that S sort of but I i'm still like learning the whole drawing process like with i mean black and whites and stuff and i just got some markers actually um some black markers and then i got another, a new highlighter because my new one my um, old one wasn't working the whiteout pens because that started running out i've had it for like a year i think and had to get a new one of that because it was running out but so look forward to that in the next video because i'm actually going to be using the new markers which were actually like really cheap because they're, they're like copics but they're not exactly copics which is pretty neat and i'm almost done with the drawing i'm using a gray crayola marker that's how small my um tools are but i don't really mind it because i know this i knew this girl at school who would constantly use crayola markers and would like very rarely get anything expensive but she she did really good art like she was really good she worked with what she had and i've always kind of wanted to be on that level because that that just shows that you know you're able to work with anything but at the same time i just love expensive art supplies it's not a good thing it really isn't but they're just so nice to work with and i'm finishing the drawing am i i am i am this is a blue sharpie and you'd be surprised how well sharpie works like if you have nothing else it's not the best thing to work with but it's also not the worst like you really could do worse because it dries relatively smooth i don't know about the uh like archivalness but uh so far they work really well for me all right guys and this is my end drawing of lapis lazuli from steven universe i hope you all enjoyed uh leave a comment as to what you'd like to see me draw next thank you all for watching bye yes finally boy